Hey guys, what's up? XRX99X here with a tutorial for once, not a tech video. So in this tutorial, basically I'm going to tell you guys how to make a Minecraft craft uh sorry about that. Minecraft cracked server with with craft bucket and without Hamachi. So basically I'm going to tell you guys how to do that. Alright, so what you're first going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website right here dl.bucket.org slash download slash craft bucket and you're going to want to download the latest version or the recommended build and we'll actually know because this is for 1.5.1 whatever version your minecraft is downloaded I'd suggest probably the beta build or the development build it doesn't matter I don't I I just downloaded the latest version but alright so next what you want to do is you want to get that and put it on your desktop or somewhere where you can remember it so here it is alright so next you're going to want to create a new folder I'll name it minecraft server and we'll place this in here excuse the slowness I have to figure out why Camtasia Studios being all retarded like this Okay, next what you want to do is you want to rename this to just craftbucket.jar. Just delete all these numbers up to craftbucket. This is how the craftbucket code uses, um, it loads the jar, just like that, with that name. And if anything is like off, then it won't load it right, and you won't be able to have a server. Alright, so next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new text document. So right click new text document and we'll name this run. And you can do it right from the Windows 7 thing or you can just go like that. I'll do it from here. Next you're going to want to paste the code I give you. Now, it's all normal. See craft bucket with dash R. Craft bucket except for this part right here yeah um this part right here this is for the memory location um I included how to do that in my last tutorial oh yeah I forgot guys this is an updated tutorial if you haven't watched the old one uh, a lot of people are having trouble so I'm doing a new one alright anyway so that's the memory allocation I told you guys how to do that in the last tutorial but it confused a lot of people so we're just gonna keep that the same so and then this right here this is what tells you whether you want your uh, server to be cracked or uncracked or premium um, if you set the dash O stands for online mode and basically what online mode is is it means that like your um, your mine yeah your server can either run premium people or non premium people so what happened all right that was really weird hopefully that doesn't mess up the video um, my Camtasia studio is being retarded so anyway the dash O means um your whether you want people premium to go on your server or not so we want this to be a cracked server so we'll change that to false and then file save as do the same thing except instead of dot bat make it dot no instead of dot text make it dot bat okay so you can just delete this alright so once you do that you're just gonna wanna run that and also about the uh, online mode you can also do that in your settings in the server dot properties it starts so as you can see it says uh stop <laughs> um never mind I'll just show you guys when it's done you're just gonna wanna let that load and alright so it's done so as you can see it says um where is it it says 
here we go. It says server is running in offline slash insecure mode, and that means that cracked players can join. So, all right. So you can just type stop in there because it uses a lot of RAM on your computer and it kind of slows it down. So if you want to just click type stop, that'll work. And next, what we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to go into your server properties. Now, this is a bunch of stuff that usually people don't touch but you're gonna wanna put your IP and port in there the default port for minecraft is 25565 so we'll keep it at that um, allow flight false enable query false level name this is what you want your world name to be so I'll make it xhillrocks 99x and uh, server port level type you can do default super flat you know what whatever floats your boat I'll have a uh, link to all the types of maps also um, enable archon level seeds server IP server IP you're gonna want to keep um, max build height spawn NPCs whitelist spawn animals hardcore uh, texture pack online mode change this to false also um, your MOTD is what shows up in like the server box so we'll put x hill rocks 99x view distance generate structures spawn monsters um game mode if you want it to be if you want it to be a creative server change that to one difficulty if you want it to be peaceful change it to zero one to easy two to medium you guys get it pvp that me if you set this to false players won't be able to uh, attack your other players so yeah so keep this open and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type cmd in the search bar and then you're going to want to type ip config as you can see my ip address is 192.168.1.8 that's not the ip you actually connect with though that's what you put right here um what you guys are also going to want to do is you're going to want to change your ip address to static um, I'll have a link to a video in the description on how to do that. I'm not going to put that in this tutorial because I don't want this tutorial to be super long, even though it probably already is. Um, so I'll put my server is basically what an IP, a static IP is, is it never changes. Like if you were to not do that, it would just change all the time. But with a server, it's good to have it static because then you don't have to keep doing crap. Alright, so I'm going to put in 192.168.1.8 in there, and I will put the seed giant crater because that's an amazing seed. Alright, so this is good. Um, you can just click save on that. And next, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to pour forward. So basically... Uh, there's many ways to port forward for your different ISPs. I have Fios, so I have to go to 192.168.1.1. And the default username and password for port forwarding is admin and then password 1. And then you'll get in here. Uh, this is how to do it for Fios. Um, if you have another ISP, search it up on YouTube. Um, because I don't know how to do it on any other ones because I know it's like different IPs you have to type in the bar and stuff so that's not good alright so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click firewall settings actually no advanced sorry about that and you're going to want to click port forwarding rules and you're going to want to add a new rule so as you can see I already have one for minecraft I'll show you guys how to do it uh, let me actually delete that so I can do it again Okay, so now that it's deleted, you want to scroll down here and click Add. I will name it Minecraft Server. And then Minecraft Server. And you're going to want to click Add Server Ports here. Select TCP. Go Any. And then Single. And then make it 25565. Or whatever port you made it in your server.properties. 
and then do the same thing except select UDP any single 25565 and there you go you're gonna want to click apply I guess I can't put a space so delete the space click apply All right, there we go. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to up at the top, click firewall settings, and go down to port forwarding right here. And then you want to select your IP. So mine is 192.168.1.8 right there. And then select Minecraft server or whatever you made it. And as you can see, there's our ports from the port rule that we just made. And then click add. And it should be there. Uh, you're just want gonna click resolve now, and there you go. If it doesn't say like active, then you have something wrong. Just try it again. And as you can see, it all says active. So now you can exit out of this. And one last thing to do, we go to our control panel, scroll down, and click Windows Firewall. Firewall, sorry. Click Advanced Settings. type uh, go to inbound rules and put new rule port TCP to five five six five allow and you're gonna want to do the same thing for UDP port UDP to five five six five allow Minecraft UDP there we go and then you're gonna to want to do the same thing for outbound rules so this is because I don't I'm not exactly sure which one actually works I always just do it for both so let me do that for both to TCP to five five six five allow Minecraft TCP and port UDP Two five five six five. Allow. All right. Once you're done with that, you can just exit out of that, and we're pretty much done. Now all you have to do is you have to go to Google and type "What's my IP." So we'll do that. What's my IP? And as you can see, my IP is 96.245.50.73. So you're just going to want to copy that. I'll put it right here. And you're going to want to start your Minecraft server. So it will load. And I will go ahead and open up Minecraft. And I will get back to you guys. Alright guys, so now I'm back in Minecraft right now. And I just wanted to show you guys that I am on a cracked account right now. So let me find, this is, um, let me just delete these. This is the homie server. This is like Sly Fox Hound server. Um, it's a premium server. So I just want to show you guys that I'm on a cracked account right now. So I'll try to log in. Bad login. Uh, these, nope. All right. So next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that IP that you copied so I have it right here add server paste it in as you can see there it's my server right there so I will join it and as you can see it worked I don't know oh there we go my minecraft was pretty laggy um, but as you can see it worked so see I'm Steve no premium so yeah guys, um oh see that's my username that I used to use as like a little kid on like classic Minecraft and stuff, but I don't have premium. Uh so yeah guys, uh as you can see this is how to make a crack server on Minecraft 1.5 or whatever the latest version is. Uh please alert me in the comments if I missed anything or if you guys have any trouble and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Until next time guys, this has been XHerox99X. See you guys next time.